The hadith is narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who says that the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah will not accept the excuse of any person whose instant of death is delayed beyond the age of 60 years old. At this point in life, you've hit 60, you've faced multiple a'rat, you've had multiple hindrances hit you, right? You've seen your friends die, likely at this point. You've seen your health and your time go. And this is really powerful because وَجَاءَكُمُ nadir, The warner came to you. What is a nadir? So the first nadir is the Prophet ﷺ, right? There's a secondary nadir here that it's referring to. Gray hair. The nadir that Allah is talking about is gray hair. When you start to see gray hairs, that's a, a sign like, hey, it's, it's coming. You know, Allah is reminding you with the aging of your body that your dunya is also fleeing you. Okay? So age is a proof against a person. What are the important ages in the sharia that we come across? So they're seven years old, teach your kids how to pray. 10 years old, you discipline them if they don't pray. And then there is when a person is baligh, when a person reaches the age of puberty, maturity, that's when the pen starts to write. The next age is the age of 15. <laughs> Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhumah, he narrates, I came to join the Prophet وسلم, in battle and I was 14 years old, but he didn't accept me. And then I came to him at 15 years old and he accepted me. And Nafir, who was the, the freed slave of Ibn Umar, he said, I narrated the hadith for Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. And Umar ibn Abdul Aziz radiallahu anhu responded, he said that this is the distinction between uh, youth and adulthood. So 15 was actually looked at as an age in the Sharia for that reason. So they say youth, when you hear the word shab, a young person in the Sharia, it's referring to the time between either bulul, either puberty or 15 years old and 40. The next age, hatta ida balaga ashuddahu wa balaga arba'ina sana. Until a person reaches their peak and then they reach 40 years old. Ashuddahu refers to the age of 33. And this is the age of the people of Jannah, 33 years old. So there's 7, 10, puberty, 15, 33. Hatta ida balaga ashuddahu wa balaga arba'ina sana. And then Allah mentions 40 years old. And this is what some of the scholars actually mention. Awalam nu'ammirkum. Did we not give you enough life to where you've, you've figured things out now? You're at that point in life now where you have a good view of what's to come and a good view of what's past when you're around that age of 40, midlife, right? You can kind of see both sides of the mountain at that point. And of course, that's when they say that the Prophet ﷺ was, of course, he received revelation at the age of 40 because he was mature in every way, timal al-quwa wal-aql, completion of intellect and strength. And Umar ibn Abdul Aziz ta'ala, he says that it's not necessarily 40. Some people reach maturity at different ages, right? So some people are more mature at 37 than others at 42, so vice versa. So he gives these examples as well. But he says that generally speaking, 40 is the time of midlife. The point is, is that your gratitude to Allah should be at its peak because you're at the peak of your life and you've experienced enough ni'mah that you can reflect on and you're seeing zawal al-ni'mah, you're starting to see the decline of that ni'mah that you can also reflect on. So you say what? قَالَ رَبِّ أَوْزِعْنِي says, my Lord, expand me and أَشْكُرَ نِعْمَتَكَ الَّتِي أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِ So that I can thank you for the blessings that you've bestowed upon me. وَعَلَىٰ وَالِدَيْهِ And upon my parents. So now you no longer have an excuse to be a spoiled brat or ungrateful to your parents. You've gotten old enough to where you, you can kind of, you can sympathize, you can empathize, you feel for your parents. They're probably a lot older as well when you're 40, right? So you're starting to see their decline. So you're grateful to Allah. But you're, you're asking Allah what? Give me the ability, the means, go back to the first hadith, and ashkura ni'mataka allati an'amta alayhi, to thank you for the blessing that you bestowed upon me and upon my parents. Wa an a'mala salihan tarwa, and that I can do the good deeds that will please you. So I can turn this blessing into a greater blessing, the blessing of the hereafter. Okay? Wa aslih li fi dhurriyati, and correct my offspring, rectify my offspring, inni tubtu ilayk wa inni min al muslimin. I have turned back to you and I am from amongst the Muslims. 